What's up guys, we have um, 12 lots today that are gonna be shoes and clothing. And then we also have five new with tags boxes um, that are from a wholesaler in New York City. So let's get straight into it. This is box number one. Um, this is a GH Bass um, sweater. Um, all these lots will be posted in the Facebook group, which is called the Reseller Collective. And those are gonna go live today at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, in the future, it'll be available to Patreon members first, but this one's open for general public first. So the first piece is GH Bass. Then we have, um, this is another piece, brand new with tags, sweater. Um, we've got a polo vest. It's a nice piece. So the majority of these items are going to come from uh, thrift, and that's how we're going to be able to offer these prices. You're going to be able to ideally sell for at least twice what you pay for it and net at least 50% on your money is the goal. You'll probably do better on these lots though. Um, this is an ex officio, ex officio, ex office vest, nice piece. Um, we've got here, next, another ex officio dress shirt. These are really, really nice, really breathable, great for travel. Um, this looks like a fishing shirt. Oh, marmot button down. If this was a long sleeve, I would have kept it. Let's see here. Um, Ralph Lauren Yarmouth shirt, classic. Another ex Officio shirt. These sell super well. Here we have, um, wow, Brioni shirt. Maybe do a close up on the tag if we can. Um, here we go. This is a Versace shirt. Very nice. Um, now we have. Banana Republic sweater, nice piece. This is an EV Tech. Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex, outer shell. This is really nice. Oh, this is nice. So we've got here, this is a Patagonia piece. This is just yourself for good money. Patagonia with the specialized logo on the back. Awesome stuff. It's a size men's large. Nice find. Um, guys, and we ship um, usually next day. So the stuff is all ready to go. Vintage 90s Nautica jacket. Awesome. And then we have here REI pants. Awesome. Great for rock climbing. And we have here, this is brand new with tags, Puma track pants, PJ bottoms. Um, here we have weatherproof vintage pants, brand new with tags. Great size, 40 by 32. This is a great lot. Carhartt jeans, awesome with the hammer loop. These are fantastic. They look like a great size. They are size 36 by 30. Great work wear. 36 by 30. <clears throat> and then John Barbados jacket. Nice piece, this is a corded. And then, that's a vintage REI jacket. Vintage REI jacket. This is a rain jacket, right? Mm -hmm. Vintage REI rain jacket. Fantastic condition. Look at the and label, look how all the label is. Yeah, wow, the label is awesome, size large. Great piece. Okay, this is lot number one. We'll go into the next one now. All right, guys, this is lot number two. We're starting out with some Converse. Uh, Converse kicks, these are nice. Um, they are missing the insole, so that should be noted when you list these online. <clears throat> now we have um, 
This is an Adidas team issue. Well, wow. team issue for Exelixis, Exelixis company. This is pretty nice. Quarter zip, is that quarter zip or half zip? Quarter zip. Quarter zip. Um, now we have, this is Orvis, Orvis button down. Um, size extra large, great size, easy to sell. Uh, all the prices, guys, are reviewable on the manifest before you purchase, and all of our lots have returns. Stussy, large button-down Hawaiian shirt. Uh, Polo Ralph Lauren, custom fit with the number. That's a really cool logo. Let me do a close-up on that. Cool piece. Wow, this is dope. So this is an Orvis jacket. Is this men's small? What is this? I think it's a men's medium. Men's it's a wading, wading, fly fishing wading jacket. Fly fishing wading jacket, size medium, men's. Really nice piece. Okay. Then we got Foot Joy. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed that James didn't offer this to me first, but nice jacket. Berkeley Country Club. That is nice. Nice piece. Uh, let's see. Large. Size large, foot joy, great logo guys. If you guys are looking for a great pickup, golf industry, fantastic. We got a 49ers jacket, um, Tommy Bahama, right? Yep. Tommy Bahama, you can tell by the swordfish in the back. Great piece, great condition, full zip. These are key words that you want to use when you are selling stuff like this. Okay, Mountain Hardware, it's a classic button down. Uh, Marmot Giants Jacket, Moscone Expansion from the Moscone Center in San Francisco. Very cool. This is a Marmot and... 2XL. 2XL. Fantastic size. So guys, the bigger the better usually for outerwear. Okay, now we have... Vintage, uh, that logo is important on the back. Yeah, absolutely. For the 80s. Classic 80s outerwear. Made in USA. Made in USA. Sports states. That's awesome. Make sure to use the color blocking for the keywords. Okay. Uh, Under Armour, large track pants. Another uh, new with tags, Puma, lounge pant, jogger. This is a good size. This must be at least XL. Yep, XL. I think, oh, here we go. Another pair of weatherproof, but brand new, 38 by 32. Really good size, new with tags. Nice vintage piece. You want to describe this one? Uh, that's a performance, made in USA, built for speed. This is a, like an 80s cycling shirt. It has that, you know, very cool kind of 80s pastel-y, sherbert -y look. Yep. Very dope shirt. 46 is like an XL? It's about an XL. About an XL. Yeah. Got some Lulu. So I got Lulu. Um, these are Capris. Um, let's see if we can find the size. So guys, Lulu, the, the size is usually in the pocket. So here we go. Size six. That's a good way to authenticate as well. Okay. Rag and bone, standard issue jeans. Slim 34s. These are sick. Nice, nice jeans. Nice jeans. Okay. Um, here we have another Bass, GH Bass sweater. Brand new with tags. Fantastic piece. And then here we have a North Face fleece. Wow, nice piece. Excellent condition. All these pieces are either new or excellent condition. And then Nike dry fit shirt. Kind of a camo pattern on the front. Kind of hard to see. Can they see the camo? The tunnel? The tunnel. There you go. Um, really nice golf shirt, easy to sell. And guys, if you want to sell us your death piles, just send me an email, chris at dailyrefinement.com. We'll buy it, box it into lots like this and sell it to my audience. Let's go to the next lot. On.
two. All right, lot number three, Banana Republic button down. This is kind of a flannel material. This is super nice, brand new with tags. And this is a size, large, size large, size large, new with tags. It's like a technical chambray. Technical chambray, dope shirt. Then we have a Nike dry fit golf polo with the USA basketball. Um, this is probably from that Steve Kerr lot that we picked up. And this is, I just sold one of these for $27. So now we have, um, Oh, it's very nice right there. Yeah. This is, this is super dope. That is like a time capsule Columbia <laughs> made in USA Columbia, which is pretty hard to find nowadays. Yep. Especially new. This has the original hang tag. Where the hell is it? Boom, boom. Sherpa pullover, size men, size medium. This is like the equivalent to the North Face fuzzy fleece. Yep. Really nice piece. Okay, Polo Ralph Lauren hoodie. This is a really good condition. The, the thick cotton. Curly. Hawaiian shirt, button down, short sleeve. Uh, this is the Carhartt, button down, short sleeve, plaid, check pattern. Here we go, another Columbia piece. That's the uh, sender, that has the actually, the tags are still inside of it, and in this pocket. Men's large, soft shell jacket. Soft shell jacket and also the uh, Intel logo on the back. Really, really cool piece. Company work well, so work wear sells well. All right, here we go. Better sweater. The classic tech uniform. So this is a... I think the size has been cut, but it's about a, it's definitely at least an XL, probably yeah. a double this XL. This is a double XL. Yeah, that's double, double XL. XL. Uh, perfect condition, no damage. Another vintage club piece. Another vintage club piece. Awesome. Check her back. Uh, size large. These are these are from the eighties. Yeah, it's a little discoloration, but that's yeah. the kind of par for the course with this stuff. Yeah, really nice. It's a vintage Timberland performance. That's more of a nineties thing. Oh, but if you look sweet. at the Timberland logo yeah. and the way it's placed, yeah. yeah, they made those in the nineties. Very cool jacket on the sleeve as well. Super nice on the rear. Classic. Okay, we've got the, the gap. Field jacket. Field jacket. Navy, large. Navy, large. Nice Tommy piece. Oh, yeah, very interesting, chunky Tommy men's fleece and large. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Really warm. That is a really nice piece. Um, another pair of the weatherproof um, pants, 38 by 34, fantastic size. This is the classic workwear. Um, Zenia, Zenia jeans. Zenia cords, those cords. are made in Italy. Zenia cords, Italian made. Really these are nice. around a 33 by 34. That's the, it's a 33, but they're pretty long. 33 by 34. Yeah, these are non-altered. So, very really cool nice. pants. Probably a, Nine inch inseam. Levi Strauss signature workwear pants, khakis. These are super thick, heavyweight. And then we've got the Gore Tex. Um, wow, are you serious? Gore Tex Arctic um, pants. These these are really expensive. These are like three hundred dollars new. More. No, they're more new. They go used for like three hundred and up. And these are the. This is the original made in Canada version, which is you know definitely more desirable than the made in China. No offense, Chris. But I know, right? you know, uh, so not cheap, cheap Chinese garbage. This is the whoa. legit stuff. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful shell pants, especially beautiful for the people pants. out there in adverse weather. And no damage. So these are fantastic. That concludes this lot. Let's go to the next one. What's up, guys? This is lot number four, long sleeve polo, classic blue label, uh, medium. Take a look. These are easy to find, guys, if you're looking for stuff to thrift. Maybe not where you live, but it's it's a common come up in the Bay. 
All right, here we go. This is a Nike Tank. This is a really cheap lot, guys, but this, these are just classic bread and butter, good brands. Soccer jersey. Made in Italy. Made in Italy. Cannavaro jersey. Yep. Yep. It's an inexpensive lot, but it's a good, uh, it's a good kit. Mm -hmm. So we have here Warriors. Warriors shirt. This is probably a medium. Large. Large. So guys, we know not to pick up um, small sizes because they just take longer to sell. Is this vintage? Is that a the cow shirt? Yeah, this is a cow baseball polo. You know, it's for the issue to the students or student athletes. But look at this tag. Is that an older tag? That's an older Adidas tag. Pretty cool. Navy. Pretty cool Navy. A little vintage Hawaiian silk shirt. Vintage Hawaiian silk shirt. Very cool pattern. Cool pattern. Nice weight. Very breathable. Ooh, Lacoste. A little Lacoste, a little discoloration. A little discoloration. Yeah, that's why it's priced at a dollar. Priced super cheap. <laughs> and let's see here. But again, all the stuff that's going to be here is recognizable brands, so it's easier to find. Uh, Warriors Team Golf Polo, Nike. Warriors Team Golf Polo. This is a dry fit, size large. Yep. Remember, wherever you live, the more seasonal. Oh, that was just a freebie I was throwing in there. That's from the Steve Kerr thing, Game of Zones. Oh snap, Game of Zones. Game of Zones, that's just a freebie. Freebie. This is a Silicon Valley shootout reversible Nike jersey. Yeah, this is nice. Engineers balling each other out. Yep. Pause. So the, guys, you guys remember, I mean, um, people are looking for reversible um, jerseys for their, their teams. Um, they're over on leagues, so make sure to check out reversible stuff when you find it because these are about $30 just for blanks, so uh, depending on where you get them. Well, that's the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute in San Diego. They do not make shirts, so that's very cool. Nice. This is Cal again. Uh, that's a new one. I think the tag might have... The tag's in there. It has a... It's an Under Armour. That's a long sleeve, kind of a technical long sleeve. Uh, it is new with tags. The tag may have fallen off, but it's definitely in there. Unworn. Yeah, it's like fifty bucks retail. Um, here we have another dry fit. Dry fit. Good color. Good color. This is like the. It's like a light green. Is this Under Armour. No, this is uh, one of those American contractor shirts. This is the American Embassy, Dhaka, Bangladesh. This is given to like military contractors, embassy staff. Interesting little memorabilia piece. This is a Raiders jersey? Raider Dorset jersey for the angry Raider fans. I know. Nike jersey. People are going to be pissed. All right. And then we've got two pairs of shoes for this little lot. Uh, a pair of Huff. Um, Huff, they don't make these anymore, but these are, the, these are the interesting ones that have the, the rubber toe cap. So if you know, you know, size 10. Skate shoes, great condition. There's some Nike Reacts slip Nike on. Nike Reacts slip on. The chunky Reacts sole. Some of my favorite shoes, I'm wearing the React myself. Um, but these do not have the insole, just full warning. Size 10. And But the Huffs do have it. Yeah. Size 10. All right, guys, that completes this lot. All right, guys, this is lot number five. We are going to do some bags. This is a bag lot. So first lot, Patagonia, messenger bag. Um, I believe it's called, a, it's called an MLC. There is a little rip. Um, I think it was given as a promotional bag to the Pie Queen show, but uh, it's called an MLC. It has the um, kind of the the tech, the ribbed fabric, which is pretty cool. Um, MLC is the maximum legal carry on. Very plush handle. Very cool bag. Very cool. Next we have that's a Lewis and Clark. That's actually brand new. That's a it's a waterproof wet dry bag, wet dry backpack. Um, I think the only thing done with this thing is it's been it's the the plastic has been cut off the shoulder straps to actually show the range of motion but that's a very cool wet dry bag good for the inclement weather timbuktu classic, Tim, bag. classic timbuktu yeah this is a smaller size one this is the three panel that's very 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 common it has the laptop insert too the padded laptop insert had laptop insert. That's a made in USA Jansport duffel. So the old Jansports, wow. um, this has the original kind of uh, hardware made in USA. There's no rips in this thing. 
still has all its color it's not faded it's a very very cool you know there's a big big vintage bag yeah, hunters this is, out this there is great also made in usa i think yeah. you said that yeah um great piece. this is a i think the tags are in. this is a mystery ranch which is a company based in montana mystery ranch this is a street fighter medium large this is the medium large yoke size because they, they come in two different sizes as far as the harness um but look at the zippers see it's like waterproof zippers very nice hardware um yeah very cool bag And that is a rickshaw bag that was made for Dropbox. Yep. It has a removable computer insert. It uses the kind of safety webbing you'd find in the seat belt. Um, but they make, you know, these are, those bags are handmade in San Francisco. Very cool. Yep. All right, guys, that concludes our bag lot number five. Yeah. So, right. the, I'm sorry to interrupt. Those are all, those are all brand new. So these are all, these are all, Bolt Law, which is a, the law school of Berkeley. These are the brand new t-shirts to give to the graduating class. Um, there's six of them. And this is lot number six. Yes. So two. But you know, a lot of people have nostalgia for their school or they want to pretend like they went to Bolt Law School. Very smart. Give them some credibility. It's just a Nike Hoops t-shirt. Nike Hoops t-shirt. It's an Amera leather, pretty nice quality leather yeah, satchel. This is really nice. Um, you know, it has the the good kind of uh, buckles, lots of room, very comfortable strap too. One of the, you know, the smaller lots are priced pretty aggressively um, with most items being a dollar. Um, that's a that's a great French French Quarter hooker shirt. <laughs> totally oh, appropriate. Are you to be banned on YouTube again? <laughs> no, it's, dude, they're a construction company. Construction company, see? Yeah. No comment. Uh, here we go. Here we got J. a J. Crew work shirt. J. Crew work shirt. This is the this is the heavy flannel. It's nice. It's a large. Um, this is really nice. Also, guys, when you're looking at the labels, this is the classic J. Crew. The outlet will have the three dots, and this is you know, it, it sells for a lot less on eBay. That's a Forrester. That's a Gore-Tex. So Forrester is a golf company. They this is a Gore-Tex pullover. It's a men's medium. Really nice. Very warm. Waterproof. It's a medium. Four cool star. Yep. Okay. Now That's a New Holland Agriculture. This is one of their truck driving jackets, like their field jackets. Pretty cool kind of a workwear piece. Yep. Size medium, men's. Size medium, men's. It's just a, another Warriors NBA shirt. Warriors NBA shirt. Uh, maybe hold on to this because they suck right now. Hey. Although they, be, they, be, they did beat Houston last night, Christmas Day game. This is just a, you know, it's just an interesting denim jacket. Uh, just a vintage piece, Chinese, but uh, the wash is very cool. It fits like a U.S. medium large. Like I said, very inexpensive lot, but uh, always leaving some meat on the bone for everyone. Vineyard Vines, hard to find in the Vineyard, vineyard. Vines, uh, North Carolina. Pull over. North Carolina, see that? North Carolina. UNC. Also the whale on the back. You got that? Cool. That's the Ugg men's fuzzy lined hoodie. Ugg makes clothes? For men. I mean, that's kind of a, this is a beaten in, you know, piece. This is probably super warm. But it is very comfortable. Is this sheep lined? No. That's just that Ugg line. It's that Ugg, Ugg that's that soft Ugg lining. Yep. All right, guys, that concludes this is box number six. All right. All right, guys, this is lot number seven. This will conclude the clothing lots today. Uh, this is a Banana Republic heavy, this is a cardigan? Cardigan. Heavy cardigan. It is from the outlet, so you guys can see the three dots that I was talking about earlier. Make sure to look at that when you're thrifting. These are made of a different quality than the actual Banana Republic stores. Um, here we go. Nice button down. This is Ralph Lauren, classic pony logo. And these sell year round. These are not seasonal. Um, here we have the Nike, or not Nike. It's a J. Crew Polo. J. Crew Polo. 
nice, solid. These are like 60 bucks new, but less on the pre on the market. Is this Warriors? UCLA Club Baseball. Um, now we got the North Face, classic pullover. Crew neck sweatshirt. Crew neck. It's a nice Converse one star pullover hoodie. It has a really good lining in there. So it's very Draw soft straight. and warm. This is really nice, like a mustard color. Golden rod. Golden rod. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> um, here we go. This is um, Cabela's. I think it's warm. This thing is really warm. Men's large. Fun fact, Cabela's gets more visitors than the Mormon Temple in Utah. Very nice. Very warm. Again, all the stuff that we sell is free from holes, tears, stains. And then finally, OGO bag, messenger, company wear. It's a classic laptop bag. Okay, this is lot number seven. Thanks, guys. Our first lot in the toy group is Pictionary Air. Great for eBay and Amazon sellers. These boxes are in good condition. There's about five that have a little bit of shelf wear on them. If you're on Gated and Amazon for, for these, it'd be a great list. Or eBay, you can just list it once and set your quantity to 20. There's 20 of them in this box. And that's our first box. Up next is four cases of sealed Disney Cars Matchboxes. You should list these as a complete set of six, which is shown here on the side. There's four sets in each box for a total of 16 sets. Up next is BTS Idol Fashion Dolls. There's seven of them total. So you'll get two sugars and two gins. There's two Vs and one J-Hope. Up next is Toy Story 4 Walking Buzz Lightyear. There's actually 20 of these in the lot. And some of them are nice boxes like this. And then some of them do have some shelf wear. As you can see this part here, and it was crushed down here a little bit. I'm gonna say this is probably the worst box of the group that I pulled out to show you guys. But there's 20 total. And I'm gonna say half of them have a little bit of shelf wear, but this is definitely the worst one. Up next is Mega Constructs lot. They're, these are Mega Constructs Halo 10 action figures in the sealed package. There's 26 of them. There is two Pokemon Mega Constructs. Two Masters of the Universe Mega Constructs. Four Game of Throne. There's four Halo Mega Constructs. Four of them there. And then there is four Call of Duty. And these actually sell for pretty good money on eBay. And that is the end of that one. Okay, guys, this is shoe lot number one, starting off with some Franco Sarto. Um, number two is a pair of Converse Chucks. These are brand new. Um, so that's two. Number three are these Michael Kors boots. Uh, number four, Coach Kitten Heels. Towels is five. I have two pairs of Cole Hans. One. Two. This is all women's shoes. Never heard of this brand. Premiata. Tarn Rose. AGL. Uh, these 
these are Shelley's London. And then these are made in Italy. I can't read the brand. This one I'll just basically throw in the lot. You guys, this is lot number two. Um, this is Born, a Born boot. Uh, Dr. Scholl's. Hoka. Uh, this is Clark's, Bendables. Nordstrom. Jeffrey Campbell. Asics. Naturalizer. There's two naturalizers. This one and this one. Uh, this is Taos. T-A-O-S. And then Kohan. Hey guys, right. this is lot number three. Kate Spade Wedge. Uh, SAS and Antonio Shoes. This is Naturalizer. Pedro Garcia. Um, this brand I don't know, so I'll include for free. Uh, Kohan, uh, another naturalizer, Superga, Lucky Brand Wedge, actually that's pretty screwed up, I'll include this one for free, um, Michael Kors, Rockport, uh, another Rockport, this is Camper, Puma, and, and this is shoe lot number four. We've got two pairs of floor shimes. Um, this, these are Born. Born's, I think, men's shoes. Brooks. Belvedere. Altec. Two pairs of Kenneth Cole's. Kenneth Cole Reaction. Two pairs of Gordon Rush. Bass duck boots, Doc Martin slip-ons. These are in decent condition. Probably the best shoe of this lot. Another Brooks, GH Bass Weijins, Onitsuka Tiger, two pairs of Aldos, and Stacy Adams. I already moved the. Um, I moved the other the left shoe into the box already. this shoe lot number five um we have got some cold water creek mark fisher and uh tommy hilfiger boots those are all three um there's going to be let's see naturalizer mark fisher aldo pair of Keens. um uh, this is zara and klein three pairs of clarks right there uh, we've got j crew Altrex, Guess, a pair of Merrells, right there, you can see the Merrell logo. Um, pair of Toms, that pair of Toms is new. Caslin, Terran Rose, another pair of Toms, Wedge is just brand new. Um, Born Boots, this is Dolce Vita, Dolce Vita, Born. And this is You, never heard of that brand, but I'll just include that one for free. Bruno Mali. Decent brand, but kind of out of style. And then Riker. Riker. Okay, this is shoe lot number five.